What is up, guys? I got up to 10 mil, and, uh... Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, baby! Fuck yeah. This is near reality. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, the, no! d -class. d -class. come on, mate. Come on. Sorry about that, guys. I know. I know. Scrub Lord here with just a quick look at a near reality RuneScape private server. Yeah, it's great. I mean... There's people PKing, you got a dueling, all that shit. You know, as much as I want to sit here and say the original NR is coming back, this is not the original NR. But before you leave the video, so let me explain a few things. The original owner of Near Reality left the scene, and I have not ever seen a real leak of that actual source. I could be wrong, but the NR that we all used to love is just impossible to remake. I'm, I'm like 90% sure, like 99% sure. Because if you guys don't remember, Near Reality was huge, right? And he owned it for a few years. I don't know what happened. But he just left, and the source never got leaked. Hence why there has been remakes in the past, specifically Jack Mob trying to bring back the soul of Near Reality. Because that owner just left. He straight up just got up and left and was done with RSPS, and a lot of people wanted Near Reality back. So Jack Mob stepped in and created Near Reality, and that's where his original Near Realities came from. And his sources were actually pretty close to the real thing. A lot of people, including Diddyscape, uh, enjoyed those sources. I think Diddy, one of his first servers that he played was uh, one of Jack Mob's Near Realities. Although not exactly one to one to Near Reality, he did try to implement some of those items that the old Near Reality players loved, like the Lime Whip, the Death Cape, Dragon Kite Shield, and those servers all got really big, but it had one common problem. The pathing and creating new content for developers was really hard because that is a 317, and that specific 317 had really bad code. So during 2020, Jack Mob had a decision to make. Either go with the same near reality and relaunch it and let down your players, or finally invest a lot of money into a new source and try to bring that soul of near reality back with a old school server. But he did one thing majorly wrong. This didn't even feel close to anything like near reality. Like sure, it's a whole different source, not a 317, it's a full old school server, but the players could tell. He brought back the original items, but they didn't even have the same effects as the original items that we all used to love. And the players made sure to let him know that this is not what they like. Although the server did get very big, the player counts were very large uh, as he was doing a ton of advertising, it eventually died down. But now he has teamed up with Effigy Swiper and let him be the lead of the ideas and Effigy's trying to bring back the actual soul of NR back within another source. They're going to use the same old school server, but this time they're going to bring back the main items, the Death Cape, Lime Whip, and Dragon Kite and have the same effects as they originally did. So the Lime Whip hits much faster than a regular whip over time. It has a 3 tick attack speed. The Death Cape has a 0.5 chance to kill any mob that you're fighting. Uh, some bosses, but not every single boss, because you know that would be pretty fucking OP. Like imagine you're in TOB and you just kill uh, Verzik with one hit, you know. So you gotta be very careful with that. And the Dragon Kite has a chance of randomly specking whatever you're killing. So. Um, these items are really OP. And the server actually releases in one day, guys. March 8th. This is going to be such a big server. And I'm going to be playing it. I'm going to be live streaming it. The link is in the description to the Discord. Go get in there. And we are doing a giveaway on this video. We're giving away one ultimate mystery box and one $10 donator pin on the server to two lucky winners. All they have to do is like this video, comment their IGN down below on the reality, and subscribe to my channel. But yeah, let's continue with the video. They're doing a lot of updates that isn't just a one-to-one -to, -one to old school, right? This isn't a one-to-one -to, -one to old school server. There is definitely a lot of one-to-one -one content, but they're doing a lot of RSPS updates. Like a whole sacrifice system 
with a bunch of perks that you can add on to your account. I think there's around 50 perks and they're gonna keep adding more as the game goes on. The perk ideas is unlimited. Effigy even said if you come up with a perk, he will add it in game if he likes it enough and he'll name it after you. You guys aren't aware of a sacrifice system. Basically, let's say you get a spare item that you don't really want, uh, especially if you're an Iron Man, it usually just sits in your bank, right? But on here, you can actually sacrifice it and get some points. And with those points, you can buy perks. And some of the perks on here are really overpowered if I do say so myself. One of my favorites is, you guys know a blood fear, right? You have to attach it to a fury, and then you have a soul split effect like it heals you over time. On here, you can buy that perk and you don't even need the blood fury. So you could be wearing like an amulet of torture and you're gonna always have that passive effect. It's really nice. But there's just so many perks they have on the server. That's not even the best perk. So, you know, that I'm just giving you guys a teaser. If you're specifically a Sprad viewer, you know, that's not even everything they have. Like I said, they have over 50 perks. This, is, this system is crazy. And I feel I need to mention this. Near Reality is doing a lot of launch rewards. Like, I kid you not, so many launch rewards, guys. This is over 10 bill in GP that they're giving away. So um, definitely go check it out. They're also giving away real life money. So yeah, I'm gonna be live streaming the server. And I kid you not, I actually really enjoyed the first Near Reality that came out, the old school one. And I was streaming it, I was doing videos on it, and I really enjoyed it. Like, it was one of my favorite servers. The world events on this server were just completely different than what I've seen. Like, they had a world event that brought you into the weirdness and then you had to kill a boss and then you had to search a vault and then you could get rares like a Vesta's longsword, um, a status warhammer and it was just really worth doing like you got uh, pretty you got rewarded like let's say you were you know doing a really good money maker you chose to go there right you didn't skip those and that's one thing about world events that you know after a certain amount of time on servers you end up skipping them but i kid you not there were so many people that would go to that uh pk world event and to get there you got to run through the wilderness so that gets people in the wilderness so it's a really good event and it was one of my favorites uh the voting event you know the vote boss that they had was really cool they really had a lot of good stuff that i didn't see on other servers uh they were just such a new server so you know hence why it died down they were adding a lot of the stuff towards the end of them dying like they were still doing updates when the server was losing a ton of players so unfortunately the original players of near reality didn't get to see it blossom um, because it wasn't exactly like that on release it was more more or less good towards the end of that server like i said the first osnr was actually a really good server towards the end of it uh unfortunately it was dying at that point but i was really enjoying it so i can only imagine how good the server is going to be with some solid updates but yeah guys i hope to see you on the server you're going to really let me down if i don't see you this this takes a long time to do videos like this like when i make these videos that have a ton of effort uh for like a server launch uh, i expect it to go really well and i expect myself to be on it and playing it so yeah the link is in the description guys i expect to see you online and let's make this launch huge like honestly let's make this one of the biggest launches we've seen in a long time anyways i hope you guys have a great rest of your night or day and i'll see you in the next video